don't forget your new gasket. Now the hardest part about this is trying to get this all on film. This uh <laughs> this uh this whole taking video as you work thing is it's very time consuming. Alright, here we go. See this is the part that'll go through that bearing and into the gear. This goes in the bottom here. This is the tricky part. Getting all this to work with you and just... No way. Okay, something's wrong. <laughs> something's wrong. It's not supposed to be that easy. Let me get a little tappy-tap. You got your tappy-tap. And then you got your tip-tap. Okay. Wow, it's not supposed to go in that easy. Usually you got to fuss with it. Something must be wrong. I hate that. Sometimes that's not a good sign. But we're going to go with it. And if it's not a good sign, well, I'll just have to deal with it. That's the only thing engaging that? You gotta be kidding me. That's it? That's what's running the mid PTO? Wow. That, that is weak. This is a weak point right here. I bet you that's, that's not a, uh, that's not a healthy, I'm sorry you guys didn't see that. Swing this fork over to the side, slide that in the shift fork, that'll get that into place. This gear right here will be flush with the cover. I'm gonna clean this, get that seal out, replace the seal, and um, I'm gonna look at the gasket. Now comes the fun part. Wiggling and jiggling this till it gets into place. I need that. All right. You find a bearing that wants to go in, let it go in, and keep searching, keep searching and wiggling till they all go in. Change up your hand, there you go. A little bit of rat-a-tat-tat. Just lightly. You want that two by four to bounce. Yep, 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 yep. Let's get a couple of bolts in just to hold it in place. Yep, there you go. is I'm going to torque these down with the torque wrench, okay? I'll now, what I like to do, if I don't have the torque specs, I already know that it's a 13 millimeter head bolt, so it's not going to go much over 20 foot-pounds, so I'll just find a happy medium, 
just a happy medium here. Um, actually, that probably won't go past 15 to 18 because that, that's not even a... Is that a grade 8? That's grade 5. So uh, grade 5, that'll probably take 18 foot-pounds before it starts actually stretching. So if that's 18 foot-pounds, let's try... Uh, and just for shits and giggles, let's try 190, see what that feels like. Oh no, that's better. You're, you know what a bolt can take and what a bolt can't take. And you'll get a feel for it. And all you old timers know what I'm talking about. All you youngins, the young, them young blood, it comes with experience. And I know that's not what you want to hear, but that's just a matter of fact. It just comes with age, trial and error, messing up, and seeing what works and what doesn't work. And it's really that simple. The old folk, they were once your age. You're not as smart as what you think you are, so when the old folk are, uh, are talking, shut up, because you just might learn something. And that's what I did. When I heard someone older than me speaking, that's me. I shut up. And a lot of a lot of other folks don't understand that um, you know they just they just don't they don't understand that I the the reason I I know I don't want to say I know so much because that's, I don't think I know a lot. I've just been uh, very blessed and um, getting to meet people and, and getting to just listen to them. So, um, with that being said, um, don't take it too harsh when I say shut up, all right? What I mean is just be quiet, all right? Just be quiet. Don't just hear. Listen. You have to listen. You have to listen. And the only way to listen is when your mouth ain't running. Because when your mouth is running and you're saying, oh, yeah, this, this, and this, now you start talking about, the older people start talking about what you're talking about. So you don't learn anything. So you stay plateau. The only way to learn and listen. So, that being said, all I'm going to do is go up underneath there. I'm going to tighten that PTO up. And since the bolt's twice as big and it's under more load... I'm obviously going to torque it to a heavier foot pound. So that's all. All right, I hope uh, hope this helps someone. I'll probably end up torquing that to about 25, 28 foot pounds. Putting the cover on, throw some oil in it, see how she goes.